Hello friends, welcome to Slide Hand with C Programming video tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about printf function in details. In C, printf function is used to print something to the screen in a formatted way. The syntax of the printf function is first write the function name that is printf and then write the format string and after that we give the list of variables. First we print something to the screen and we don't want the string to be formatted. So first write printf. Format string has three important things. The first thing is that it contains characters that are simply printed as they are. For example, I would like to write here God is great. Whatever we write inside the double quotation, it gets printed to the screen as they are. Let's check it. First compile it. Done. And then run it. God is great. Same is printed here which we write inside the printf function without any change. Now clear it. The second thing is that the format string contains some format specifier that begin with a percentage sign. Using format specifier, we can format the string or character and integer and floating point number also. In this example, we use an integer value. So first declare an integer variable. int page equal to 256. For integer variable, we use the format specifier percentage %d. Percentage %d is used to print the value of the variable. I wanted to print here the book has percentage %d pages and write here the variable name that is page. Now we see the output, first compile it, done and run it. See the output, the book has 256 pages. In the same way, we can use here percent %a for float value and percent %c for character variable. Next thing is that the format string can contain some escape sequence also. An escape sequence is used to escape the meaning of some characters. An escape sequence begins with a backslash. The most important escape sequence are slash t and slash n. Slash t means a tab and slash n indicates new line. Now we see how it works. Here we take another variable that is float price here we take another float type variable and here we print price of the book is percent f since we declare a float type variable, so we use here percent %f. And then here write the variable name that is price. If we run this, we see two sentences appear one after another. Let's check it. Compile it. And then run it. The book has 256 pages. The price of the book is 175.50. This two sentence appear one after another. If we want to give a pace between these two sentence, then we can use a tab. Tab indicates slash t. A slash t moves the cursor to the next tab stop. So here we put a tab slash t. Now we see what happened. Compile it and 
run it now see the output the book has 265 pages and there is a space is appear then the second sentence price of the book is 175.50 is arise so tab gives a space between the two sentence there is another escape sequence that is slash n slash n indicates new line when we add a slash n the string that appears after the slash n goes to the next line if we give a slash n then the sentence price of the book is percent a that goes to the next line now check the output compile it run it the book has 265 pages the price of the book is 175.50 goes to the next line so we can say slash n is used to break the line and the cursor goes to the next line that's all hope you understand next tutorial i discuss about scan a function thank you for watching this video to watch more videos please subscribe this channel